Yo, what's up guys, we're back. Okay, so today we're going to be doing something a little interesting. And, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be the usual stuff. So, I don't know. We're, uh, we're going to be doing a BuzzFeed, uh, questionnaire, whatever the fuck you want to call it, quiz. Um... I do want to say that, you know, I take literally everything on BuzzFeed with, with, with not even a grain of salt, just like a whole handful of salt, because they're very biased, in my opinion. Um, so, take everything here with a grain of salt. I already know the answer to this before even taking the quiz, but we're going to do it anyway, just for fun. And the quiz is to determine... Whether or not I am a sexist, which I'm not, <laughs> but we're we're gonna see if this quiz agrees with that. So, uh, here we go. I'm actually a little nervous. Um, I I have no reason to be nervous. We're gonna be fine. Uh, depending on how they have this worded anyway, or what the questions are, because this uh, you know, it could. I don't know. I don't know. Hannah Jewel. Is the person who who made this? Uh, what percent sexist are you? Um, let's see. Who should be the breadwinner? Uh, fuck. Sorry. Who should be the breadwinner? It's been a long day. Okay, it's been a long day. Who should be the breadwinner of the family? Um. Uh, I know, like, the sexist thing would be to say, oh, the man, but, like, honestly, nowadays, most families have to have both parents working unless you come from a rich family. So, I'm going with this one, because most families nowadays either have both people working or one of them working and the other one being on disability or, like, some combination, because... You know, nowadays, that's just how it is. Um, let's see. Who should spend more time on housework? You know what? You know what? I'm going to say it should be a shared responsibility. You know, I help out from time to time. Uh, especially if you include mowing the lawn as housework. Which I don't know if you, that would be included as housework or not. But, like, I, I wash dishes sometimes. Uh... And I, I do a lot of cooking uh, for the for the family. So I, I think that's a shared responsibility. I feel like that's fair. Have you ever described a girl as slutty? Um, you know, I, I think it sometimes, but I've never actually said to anyone that, that they're slutty. I, I've thought it, but I've never said that to anyone. So And, and that's honest, you know, because that's just rude. Um, without thinking, pick a boss. Why the fuck does it matter? Why does it, why does it matter which one? Is it because if I pick, like, why does it matter which one's the boss? I'm sure they're both great bosses. They, they have great smiles. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one because she looks a little sassy. Uh, and you know, it, you know, she looks like she would have a really good personality. This guy, he he looks like he would, um, you know, he looks like he's happy in that photo, but or at least trying to be. But like he he looks like the kind of guy who, you know, if he has a a, a rough day at the at the at, at home, he's gonna bring it to work and cause issues. Like just based on so. I'm going to go with her. She looks like she has a good personality, and she looks like she might be a little bit sassy, which I, I like a bit, a, a bit of sauce, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Uh, answer honestly, have you judged a woman's intelligence because of the way she speaks? Um, you know, I try not... That That's, that's a stupid question, because that could really apply to... Uh, yeah, you because know, I feel like, you know, if if I was the, you know, I can't even do an example without, like, offending anyone, so I'm not going to. But, like, pretty much anyone who speaks like they're an idiot, you're gonna, 
you know, question their intelligence, regardless of what gender they are. Um, but I try not to judge people, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I'm gonna have to go with maybe, but I didn't feel great about it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with that one. Uh, why do you think there is a gender pay gap? Ooh, okay. Um, let's see, because women and the work they do are seen as less valuable. I don't think that's true. I, I honestly don't. Uh, there just aren't enough women qualified for to be in senior positions at their companies or they are not interested in higher management. That could possibly be true, but again, I, I you know, that's questionable. Uh, there isn't one pay discrepancies exist because women choose lower paid work. That also could be true. Both of these could be true. I don't know which one. Um, you know what? I'm going to, you know, I feel like both of these would be considered sexist, though. Because, uh, like I said, this whole thing is probably biased. You know? Um, so take this whole quiz with a grain of salt, but, uh, you know... This one is de all three of these could be considered sexist. Um, you know, what? I'm going to I'm going to have to go with this one. I'm going to have to go with this one. I feel like both of these could potentially be true. I haven't seen the numbers, okay? I haven't seen the statistics. I don't know. This one could probably be true. This could also be true. This is not true at all. Like, I do not believe that for a second. So I'm going to go with this one. Without thinking, pick a doctor. Uh, again, why why does it matter? You know what? She, she looks very capable. I just want to say she looks very capable. She, she looks kind of cute. I'm going to have to go with this one just because he's got two people in the background who are going to be helping him. So, <laughs> um... Let's see. Why do you think there are so few women in politics? Oh, God. We're getting into some some stuff. <laughs> okay. Because men are more naturally suited to leadership in politics. I don't think that's true at all. Um, because women have babies in their 30s. I know for a fact that that is not true across the board. A lot of women have babies in when they're fucking 16, you know, depending on which generation you're talking about. The current generation, you're like 14, 15, 16, up until like your 20s, you're, you're having babies. I, I know people who are 18 years old and already have three kids. So, you know, um, so that one isn't, isn't very accurate. Uh, because voters are sexist, women aren't supported in government and face so much harassment. Um, you know what? I, I feel like it's not fair to say that all voters are sexist, but there definitely are some. I will give them that. Um, because they just don't want to be. I feel like this one or this one could be the proper answer. Um, I'm just going to have to say, uh, you know what? I, I feel like if they wanted to do it, they would do it. And then as far as this goes, like, I feel like you can't generalize all voters as being sexist, but there definitely are some. And there definitely are a, a certain level of resentment for women who run uh, public, you know, campaigns, you know, so, that, that being said, I, I think I'm gonna have to go with that one, I feel like that's, you know, what I would have to choose, I'm not saying all voters are sexist, but there definitely are some, um, so here we go, do women make good bosses, it depends on the woman, you know, if it, it it has nothing to do with gender, it it really doesn't. If they're a good boss, they're a good boss. Can women be good bosses? Of course they can. 
Uh, of course they fucking can. It's just whether or not they want to, or whether or not they're, they're, you know, it, it's all about personality. It has nothing to do, it, it's personality and responsibility. It has nothing to do with gender. So, I'm gonna have to go with yes. Um, pick a nurse, okay. Um, without thinking, pick a nurse. You know what? I, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Um, I, again, I have no clue how these prove whether or not I'm sexist, but, you know. Can women be great mathematicians and scientists? Of course, of course they can. That's, that's a dumb question. Of course they can. Um, there are plenty of women that work in the scientific field. Um, I know one, uh, in particular that they, they haven't gotten a career in that field yet, but they're going to college for it. So, you know, I, I feel like, yes, I don't think, let's see, what are my options? No, otherwise we'd see more of their achievements in history. I feel like that is horribly inaccurate. Uh, depends. Women's brains are better suited to logistic and emotional intelligence, um, or linguistic and emotional intelligence. Um, isn't there actually a scientific study that says that, though? Or something similar like that? Um, I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd feel like that wouldn't be my choice either. I feel like, yes, of course women can be mathematicians and scientists. There are plenty of female mathematicians and scientists out in the field. Um, I don't agree with the rest of that statement, though, which is they have to plow through more BS to get there. Um, yeah, the, the only BS they have to deal with is probably standing in line at the Starbucks at the college campus waiting for their Frappuccino. Yeah. Um, that That's that's just... Uh, that's not entirely true. You know, it, it varies from person to person, but... You know, I, f I feel like the overall answer is yes. Um, okay, if you lost a sport to a woman, how would you feel? Um, let's see. You know what? I, I honestly couldn't care. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily be happy. It would be dependent on whether or not we're having a good time. Like, what the context of the sport is, why I'm there. But, like, you know, I wouldn't be embarrassed or annoyed, you know? Let's see. You know, it's, I wouldn't be annoyed or embarrassed or anything like that. Um, but I wouldn't... It, whether or not I'm happy would be dependent on the context of the situation. But I'm going to have to go with that one. Uh, without thinking, pick a professor. Um, this guy looks like someone who, uh, you know, with, it, with his, you know, body... Uh, what's, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, body expression or what, what I can't think, body language. With his body language he has right there and, like, the kind of smile and everything. Like, he looks like a fun professor. He looks like somebody who's going to be cracking jokes. And, you know, he looks like, not to say that neither of these don't, he looks, like, really serious and kind of, you know, boring. So I'm, I'm going to go with this guy. Again, has nothing to do with their gender. Um, just the, his facial expression and the body language is what drew me to that one. Because he looks like a fun guy. Um, let's see. Can women be funny? Uh, yeah, of course they can. Of course they can be funny. It's just whether or not they are. Not every woman is funny. But there definitely are some that are funny. So, yeah, of course. Uh, whoever is able to, that's just, that's just 
straight up who should spend more time raising kids whoever is able to again nowadays most you know families have both parents working so has anyone ever called you sexist i have never in my once uh, never once in my life been accused of being sexist which is awesome because you know nowadays being uh you know a, a 20 year old male you know yeah it's it's especially in the u.s it's it's pretty common to be called a, a sexist yeah um let's see there's just so many like triggered feminists who are just so quickly to be like, oh, that guy's a sexist, which, yeah, I've, I've never been called a sexist, so I'm actually kind of proud of that. Um, do you think sexism still exists? Nope. Um, it's, it's just not as bad as it used to be, so I think people are over-exaggerating how bad it is now, and yep. It definitely still exists. It definitely still exists. But you cannot say it's as bad as it used to be. Because there was a time where women weren't allowed to drive. They weren't allowed to vote. They weren't allowed to do so many things. Um, and in most places, now they are. Yeah, they still have some countries where they're not allowed to drive, which is bullshit. Um, but, like... Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. And you'd pretty much have to be ignorant to think otherwise. Um, so I'm going to have to go with that one. You got 30% sexist. Careful, you're in real danger of sexism. Think before you speak. Act before you think. And think before you think. Just think more, because sexism is bad. You know what? I'm happy with the 30%. I feel like 30% is pretty uh pretty decent yeah yeah um, you know what i i can deal with that i can deal with that uh i'll leave a link to this you can take it yourself see what percentage you get but you know what 30 percent. i can live with 30 percent. i feel like that's it pretty good um, how would you get 0%? Is there actually a way to get 0%? I don't know. There probably is. But, uh... That being said, um... I guess I'm 30% sexist compared to this BuzzFeed article. Again, BuzzFeed, take it with a huge hand of salt. Not even a pinch of salt. Yeah, or a grain of salt, rather. Just a whole handful of salt, because, you know, they, they, are, they have been known for being very uh, biased. Um, you know, and uh, a lot of these online media, you know, news outlets are. Um, and, you know, I'm not just shitting on BuzzFeed. There's, you know, tons of them that are... You know, just like BuzzFeed, where they're very biased for their own specific agenda. Um, and I feel like the person who made this, clearly, just based on the options here, it's very biased towards pro-feminism. Um, which I'm not saying feminism is a bad thing. Uh, I've gone on record before as saying there are legitimate problems that women have that do need to be addressed and I support any woman who can seek fixing these problems in a way that does not cause public outrage or you know cause anyone to get hurt if you can do that peacefully then I will support that if it is a legitimate problem and you are actively trying to fix it, regardless of your gender. You know, because that's, um... You know, because I do believe there are legitimate problems for women. And I do believe there are, uh... You know, a small group of feminists that actually are trying to fix these problems. 
the problem is the only feminists that you hear about are the ones that are fucking crazy and do some crazy stupid shit on the internet and then it makes all the feminists look bad i'm 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 laughing a little bit cuz i just saw a video early earlier today where a lady was freaking out because a guy said hello to her and because he said hello like that's all he did he said hello and she accused him of sexual harassment because of that so like I don't know. I don't know. I believe there are legitimate problems that women have. And I will support any woman who is looking to fix those problems in a peaceful, non-aggressive manner. Um, so that's that's where I stand. Yeah. Anyway, that, that being said... That being said... Um, you know... I feel like I did pretty well on this on this BuzzFeed thing. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like we did pretty well. That being said, <laughs> thank all you guys for watching. Um, what do you guys think? Were, are you surprised at how low of a percentage I got? Um, what What percentage were you expecting me to get? Uh, and do you think this article, this quiz, is a, is a load of shit that, that's, like, I don't know. Because I don't think this proves anything. I honestly don't. I don't think it proves anything. I know in my heart that I'm not sexist. So, I know that before I even took this. So, that being said, thank all you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're gonna take, uh the quiz and let me know what you score in the comments uh because i'd be interested to see but thank all you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye guys